Hey guys, uh, you've got Nikhil here from Narmi, and you've got Nick and Oliver from Guafsku. Um, quick background for anyone who's watching this. Uh, I help run a company called Narmi. We're a fintech company based in New York. We cater to uh, financial institutions, credit unions, and banks, uh, and provide them really amazing front-end user experiences. So mobile banking, online banking, a new website, um, online account opening, an open API. Um, and Guafsku and Nick and Oliver are one of our uh, esteemed customers. So I asked them to you know, do this nice little interview with us and uh, want to share with you, the viewers, what they do and maybe their experience with NARMI. So Oliver and Nick, thanks for doing this. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. So you know, if it's okay with you, just um, you guys run a pretty interesting credit union. So would love to just get you know, 30 seconds on the backstory, what it is, and maybe your roles there. Definitely. Uh, so we are the Georgetown University Alumni Student Federal Credit Union, um, and we're a completely student-run financial institution. Uh, we're a credit union, and we're actually the largest student-run uh, credit union in the country. Um, we have about $18 million in peak assets, and um, by by both peak assets and, and account open, accounts open, rather, um, where we're considered by the student-run financial institution. Um, so everyone from our tellers all the way up to our CEO as a student, which, which definitely makes us unique. And uh, we we find that a lot of Georgetown students bank with us, um, definitely while they're at Georgetown and, and even through after graduation. Um, so that's, that's kind of what we do. I'm the director of IT. And I'm the chief technology officer. And did you, so did you guys start in IT when you joined the credit union? Did you evolve into that position? Can you just tell, tell everyone a little bit about your, your background at the credit union before your current roles? Yeah, definitely. Uh, we both started as tellers at the credit union. That's, that's where everyone starts when they first join the credit union, usually as a freshman. Um, since then, I worked my way up, uh, became an operations manager. Um, also joined the IT department, which is an entry level IT representative. Uh, after that, I spent a year as director of IT, and I'm now the chief technology officer. And I followed a similar path. Uh, I was first a teller, then an operations manager, um, and as well as joining the IT department, and uh, worked my way up to, to running the IT department, which I currently do. That's awesome. Cool. And Oliver, you actually spent uh, the summer at the credit union, right? Do you mind just telling us a little bit about that? Absolutely, yeah. So, so over the summer, um, when all our students are, are away doing stuff. Um, we keep a small crew of people around who run the credit union. Um, there are four of us, so I did all things loans and IT, um, which was a pretty huge job. Uh, but I had a blast, and, and since you know, it was such a small amount of people running the, the credit union, um, I really learned a ton about the way it operates top to bottom and every single thing that we did, so it was really cool. Yeah, I bet um, you know a lot of credit unions your size uh, the average full-time employee count is actually right around, you know, five or six people. So I right. like totally new appreciation for how much work they do and right yeah. what it takes. Um, cool. So, um, one other thing that I think is super cool is, uh, something you guys call open accounts weekend. Um, definitely something that's very unique to the industry, obviously very specific to a university focused credit union. Um, would you mind just sharing, and I think you guys just did that, so would you mind sharing a little bit about what that is, what type of work goes into that, and then also, how did it go this year, um, you know, and how did that compare to previous years? And if you have any numbers too, that would be super helpful, but obviously no problem if not. Yeah, definitely, happy to explain that. Uh, so Open Class Weekend happens every year, the weekend before classes start at Georgetown. Uh, during that time, that's when all of the new freshmen are coming to campus, moving in, um, and we really target the, the new freshmen and encourage them to open accounts at our, our credit union. So uh, I guess the second part is what's in, involved in making that happen. The marketing department does a ton of work, uh, producing videos to uh, you know, tell incoming freshmen about our services. And uh, then once that weekend rolls around, uh, we have a, a lot of our interns out and about talking to parents, talking to students, uh, demonstrating our, our products and services and encouraging to open an account with us. Um, this year was very successful. We opened uh, around 400 accounts last weekend, and uh, in one weekend, in like two days. In one weekend, yeah, and Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, almost 400 accounts. That's awesome. Um, yeah, so it was very successful. It was the best open accounts weekend we've had since 2012, actually. Amazing. 
Um, and how to, okay, so I want to shift gears a little bit towards uh, Georgetown Credit Union's relationship with NARMI. Um, so specifically, coming off this really successful open accounts weekend, can you share with the viewers like what? Um, well, why don't, why don't we just take a step back? Can you share with us what, what our relationship is in your own words? We obviously haven't even talked about this before this video conference, so feel free to be as honest as possible. What has NARMI done for you? Um, how do you view NARMI in terms of uh, your partner relationships? That's a very important question for me. Um, and then we can we can get into a little bit how that relates to uh, Open Accounts Weekend. Sure. Um, so I start by saying that uh, our relationship with NARMI is that uh, they are our provider of many things technical. Um, that means our website, um, our mobile app, uh, our online banking platform, um, and uh, you know, moving forward, that, that may come to encompass more things. Um, so, so I guess um, we we've been working with them uh, for about a year now, um, and uh, we found that they're they're you know super responsive. One of the things we really love is um, the, the interface they provide to us on all these different technologies. So, so be it our website or our online banking platform, our mobile app. Um, we used to field you know, somewhere, somewhere like 25% of the member service calls we would get were just people that wanted to find something on our website or didn't know what this button did on our online banking. And that's literally completely eliminated. Um, we found like the, the, the interface is intuitive to the point where, where people understand it, which is an awesome thing. Um, and uh, so, so, so one example of, of uh, like our relationship with Narmi, I guess, is, is this summer. Um, they, they came down from New York and paid a visit to our branch and, uh, and just kind of saw how we run um, and, and saw you know, the, the ways they could help us out. Um, and you know, we gave them a few things we, we wanted, one of which we said, hey, our members really love seeing analytics about how they spend their money and stuff like that. Um, and, uh, you know, a few weeks later, we had a, we had a, a cash flows um, diagram on our, on our online banking platform where um, all our members could see a graph of their money coming in and money coming out. It looks super clean. And, and this past weekend, actually, when we were running Open Accounts Weekend, that was one of the things that, as, as students were kind of milling around and coming up to our tables, we could just flip our screens around and say, you know, this is, I bank with us, this is what, this is what uh, the, the product that I use as a consumer looks like, and it's an awesome way to track my money. Um, so that was, that was a super cool example of just kind of our partnership and work. I think, uh, I think it's a really good one. Yeah, that, that means a lot, Oliver. Thanks. So super good segue into, um, so you, earlier you said you had the most successful open accounts weekend since 2012, um, and be completely honest here, how much of that do you think was attributable to, to the technology NARMI's giving you, mainly on the mobile banking and the online banking front? Like how much of that was part of the marketing pitch, and, and to, your, to your point, like how much of that was actually showing them what it was? Yeah, definitely. One of the things I was doing last weekend uh, was walking around with an iPad with our NARMI online banking platform pulled up, just demonstrating to parents and students wow. what our platform looks like. Um, they really loved it. I, I know I convinced uh, a few people to open an account after they saw how easy our, our platform is to use. Um, that's something that students really care about. They want to be able to access their bank account from, from anywhere, from the phone, from the computer, and, and it's very easy for them to do that. Yeah. Oh, that makes me feel good too, Nick. Thanks. Um, obviously, we can we can talk about the good, good, good and, and praise NARMI, but I do want to ask you, publicly on this on this interview, what can NARMI do better? I mean, um, I've asked you guys this, you know, offline as well, but uh, really I want you guys to challenge us, so just give it to me straight. <laughs> or if there's if there's a feature you really want to see, I mean, features are definitely one thing, right? Features can always be built through, through collaboration, but really if there's one thing you think uh, NARMI could do better, what is it? And it could be feature, sorry, uh, feel free to say that, but uh, what, do, what do you guys think? I think one of the things that uh, I know we have talked about uh, offline is a feature we, we've really been anticipating, and that's uh, online forms. Yeah. Um, it's something that we, we still don't have on our main, and something that we really like to see. Cool. Okay. Well, you know it's on our roadmap, so um, cool. And then lastly, super, uh, super topical subject is how to attract and 
retain younger members, and that's younger, you know, banking relationships. That this is everyone from Citigroup and Wells Fargo to credit unions to banks. It doesn't really matter. I mean, the average age at your regional or community financial institution is 50 years old right now, um, and in fact, that's only getting older, right? So you guys serve a very younger demographic. You opened 400 accounts for 18-year-olds last weekend. Uh, you know, we were talking before this interview that you're still getting heavy branch traffic today and this week, so I expect that number to go up. But if you were to give some advice to um, other credit union or bank or F F financial institution leaders on how to better market to younger account holders, what would it be? Yeah, I think there, there's two parts to our success last week and our, our strategy in starting the students. Uh, we would love to talk with, to the parents of those students about the products we offer. Um, oftentimes, they're the ones encouraging their students uh, or children to open a new account when they come to college. And uh, you know, they really like seeing our low interest rates and uh, you know our, our various offerings of checking accounts and savings accounts. Um, and yeah, we, we definitely um, love talking to parents to encourage them to open accounts for their students. Um, and then I guess the, the second part of that is talking to the the younger students directly. Um, they that they were very interested in seeing our online banking platform and mobile app. Um, they're also interested in, in uh, you know, our, our branch location, our ATM location. They want to know how they can uh, interact with us and, and take advantage of their, their accounts at, at our school. Yeah, the, the other thing I'd add is that I think we're in kind of a unique spot in that we do serve a very young demographic, but we also are ourselves that young demographic. So. It's not as much of an effort for us to kind of have our finger on the pulse. Um, and one thing I've really noticed among my friends and, and how I interact with my money is I really um, appreciate the ability to use third-party apps. So to any other credit unions, I would say make sure um, you know your stuff is compatible with Venmo or Mint or whatever the flavor of the day is because that is really like how we move money and see money and, and kind of interact with our money. Yeah, hey, Oliver, uh, I'm sorry, last question on that. Um, a big concern is that financial institutions think that if their customers or their members are using par third parties like Mint, or I really liked what you said, flavor of the day, because it seems like it does change, maybe not on a daily basis, but on a yearly basis, um, that they actually lose some of that banking relationship, right? And they lose that customer uh, stickiness. I definitely want to just ping that back to you and say, what do you think? Like, what um, do you guys think that way, or do you actually think it's the opposite? Yeah, that's an interesting question. Uh, I think it's hard to say yet. Well, I mean, we'll see how it pans out. But I, I can say from personal experience that I definitely feel an attachment to like um, where I physically, where my money physically lives. Um, so when I pull out, you know, my debit card and, and swipe it. Um, I like, kind of have a brand connection there, or whether whether I'm withdrawing cash on the teller line or anything like that. Um, I definitely feel uh, that that stickiness, I guess, to my bank. Even though um, I use Mint to track my finances, and instead of writing a check, I'll use Venmo um, and, and that kind of stuff. I, I don't think I will see, but I, I I would say that I don't think the relationship is lessened by those third party apps. Yep, it almost seems like. Um Mint.com, Venmo, whatever it is, is a is a complement and an extension of the Georgetown University Credit Union. I think you're saying the credit union can do things so well, like offer lower rates to students and offer really awesome checking accounts. They can't do everything else. So, I th uh, sorry if I'm uh, correct me if I'm wrong. So sorry if I'm reading between the lines, but it just seems like you view it as more of an extension of your of your banking relationship as opposed to a replacement. Absolutely. I definitely agree. And I've seen uh, different times when, you know, if someone has a question about a Venmo transaction they made, they'll call us. They're, they're yeah. not going to call Venmo. Um, and it, so it does lead to more interaction with the members. Awesome. I agree with that. Be a cool. Well, guys, thanks so much for doing this. Congrats again on the like, Open Accounts Weekend. I bet, you know, there are a lot of financial institutions in the country who wish they could open 400 accounts <laughs> for 18-year-olds in a single weekend. So... Uh, you guys are really doing something special, and uh, we'll work hard to get you those online forms as soon as possible. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.